Do you want to get the most out of playing Dead Sack and X Defiant? Well, I'm here to give you some tricks on how to be the best hacker in the game. The Fabricator, the Dead Sack's passive, will create another copy of whatever device you're using once you throw it or place it. So, prox mines, grenades, flashbangs, EMP grenades, or sticky grenades. It takes 15 seconds to fabricate another device. For the four grenade types, it's pretty straightforward. Throw one, and the Fabricator will make a new one. For the prox mines, though, you can only have two at a time. The Fabricator won't start creating a new one until one of the two that you've placed are gone. Since the Season 1 update, the passive will now keep fabricating mines, but when you put down a third mine, the first mine you placed will disappear. So you can still only have two at a time, but you can keep placing them. However, you can actually have more if you're also using their hijack ability and you steal a mine from an enemy player. I'll cover hijacking later in the video. If you're able to kill a sniper who loves camping a certain spot, I love to use my two mines to punish them for trying to get back there. If they get killed by one mine, your second mine's ready to go by the time they get back. The bot will chase an enemy player and shock them, slowing them down and covering their vision. It will pick the closest enemy player and chase them until they die or the bot is destroyed. Even if a different enemy gets closer, it will keep chasing the original target. If the target dies, it will pick another enemy to go after. Since the Season 1 update, you can no longer shoot it off yourself, you'll need a teammate to shoot it off for you. If you're too close to an obstacle, you can't put the spider bot down, so make sure you have a nice open area to throw it down onto. DeadSec's other active ability is Hijack, a sneaky little ability that is ever so much fun to use. You can essentially steal an ability that an enemy player has placed. It's fantastic for attacking a point that the enemy's holding. Steal a phantom shield and make their defense your own. You can even play counter DeadSec and send their spider bots right back to them. It works on proximity mines as well, so when an enemy tries to use their mine as protection, punish them. You can also hack multiple devices at once, as long as they are all in your field of view at the same time. I'll have that. The range is pretty much infinite as long as you can see what you're trying to hack. Keep a close eye out for the white line that shows up when you're looking at something that can be hacked. It's very generous with how close you're aiming to the object. You might not even know something is there, but the line will tip you off. It can save your life if it helps you notice a proximity mine. Finally, you have the Ultra Lockout. It will disable enemies' HUD, minimap, and abilities for up to a minute, or until the enemy dies. It will shut down any enemy shields, healing abilities, spider bots, and mines. But more importantly, it will even cancel enemy Ultras and can turn the tide of battle. It can even show you where the enemy players are, just as you use it. You don't always want to use it as soon as it's available. Wait until an enemy uses sonar goggles and cause them to completely waste their ultra. Same with the Phantom's ultra. Shut down their Aegis from a distance. Any ultra can be shut down with this, with the sole exception of Lockout itself, which you can only delay the use of. So, that was some info and some tricks on how to get the most out of DeadSec. I hope it can help you out, so until next time, later.